Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Unknown. There's a landed UFO and the Sky Ranger will come out and say hello. And so we have some new gear for us today. And I, you know, it just occurred to me, I think that Dan never got his carapace armor. There you go, now he has it. <laughs> he did another mission without it, apparently. Uh, my bad. I'm sure someone pointed that out to me. And there we go, we can make him look all badass. Actually, wait, he doesn't look badass. There. That looks pretty cool armor. So they have now plasma sniper rifles. Uh, he's got a, he's got another slot, and I'm gonna use this other slot for an arc thrower, which I bought last mission there. And I literally have quite, I, I have nothing else to give away. So, uh, just med kits, arc throwers, scopes with the sniper rifles. The scopes, you know, may not be necessary anymore, but I still like to have them because it's just it makes a difference for when I want. Like, what, what else am I going to give them? Med packs? Arc throwers? Like, uh, nothing else, really. This is this is probably the best thing that actually helps from the range that they're actually fighting at, I figure, so... Um, technically, we don't have to bring along Zilch anymore. We can actually bring along... We have another heavy here. Uh, welcome to... <laughs> Major XXX420. <laughs> it looks like I won the lottery again, because it's still taking names out of my file. Wow! That's awesome. Alright. Uh, now, I've been hearing a lot of things actually about Shredder Rocket, because it's actually an extra rocket. And you get to make something take 33% extra damage. Um, but still, I like suppression. I I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a suppression guy. And then, yeah, I always like heat. And then I never use rockets. I'd rather have this. Uh, I never use grenades, really. I have them, but I don't really use them that often. And we'll just survive. Alright. Let's bring, uh, let's bring, uh, XXX, uh, XXX Snipes with us, shall we? Because it's not, I have nothing against you, Slusla, but, uh, you know, his name is just kind of what sold me here. So, sorry. Go home. I, I still love you, don't worry. <laughs> Major XXX Snipes 420. Alright. So, what would be his favorite color? I don't know. We could, we could just give him, like, a a nice, uh, what would be his color? Uh, yeah, let's make him purple. It sounds like an XXX Snipes 420. There you go. It's it's pink beside Mr. Shiv here. There you go. And Zang, I can't really change, as you know, so, uh, I think, I think we're good. Uh, even though I have two main machine guns, I'm gonna have to get, like, uh, uh, better machine guns. That's the next research priority research after what I'm doing right now, so. Well, we're ready, so let's go. Off to a UFO landing site in South America. Prepare for deployment, strike one. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Reports indicate the UFO set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Sounds good to me. And we kind of just flew right over them. Like, it's like, what, the aliens just have to look up and just listen to the noise. It's like, oh, look, a fucking Sky Ranger. I'm surprised these patrols don't pretty much see me immediately. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. So I'm evaluating my options here. And they are not looking too good. Um, so we're going to start by going off this way. Uh, let's see what we got. I don't want to move anyone really that far. Dan can go back here. Uh, there is no real piece of cover for him, so we'll just move, we'll dash him over there. This is like the weirdest angle, I don't really know, this is kind of awkward, to be honest. Let's, let's have a look around, shall we? So I'm heading, uh, I'm heading to the left here because I really... It's, it's honestly not in my best interest to actually go down the middle. 
Um, I figured this would have more of a... Yeah, here, here we have the edge of the map, which is really good for us, so... Um, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so this... Well... Actually, yeah, Volkov can, can just dash straight into there. And more dashing. So we're trying to get like everybody kind of to come up the side. This this I, I thought this was actually a large map, but it actually looks a lot smaller than I originally thought it was. There's probably about like two patrols kind of looking around for me. So okay, it always it always freaks me out whenever I don't see anything moving. So uh, okay, so Mr. Shiv will move over to the street line here, and we have mutons. All right, snipers. We got a shot right here. And he's got his new toy now. Ho ho ho! Damn. <laughs> All right. You got 60% on that. Let's move up with my LMG users. Oh man, this is really awkward. Uh, let's see. We don't have a really good shot on that. Tactical will have to stay over there. I never thought I'd have to stay. I'd have to say anything like that. All right, he's got a really good. He's got a really good shot, like line of sight right down here. So I'm not actually too concerned about him. Uh, my main problem right now, though, is the fact that I I really can't see anybody. Like it's it's sorry. Um, I, I can't I can't move up there really. So, here's what uh, Mr. Shiz is going to do. He's going to hunker down. And everyone else will overwatch. Yeah, we, we know he's there, Mr. Shiv. Just hoping he kind of comes into somebody else's sight. Is he getting flanked? And he got hit. What the hell? It looked like he got hit. And we, we know. By the way, when you're in hunker down, you can't actually see enemy movement. But he can kind of see it after after his turn is done. It looks like we can't actually get a shot off on him. He moved into a better position to basically, uh, like, like take us down. So let's see. Okay, well, we got a tree over here which we can go to. And unfortunately, a tree now blocks us, so he can't actually get a shot off anymore. We, there's actually a lot of shit blocking us now. We can, however, move up with uh, this is assault rate. Uh, well, this is our other guy, so we can actually take some pot shots if we really want to. And this is kind of like this is the um, the risk you take basically whenever you play XCOM. Is that do I really want to be taking sh shots? Because it could potentially just be a total total bloody waste. Um, and you know that that's ultimately up to you. So. We're gonna shoot him, because uh, I'm pretty actually confident that we'll be able to possibly get him. Well, we intimidated him. And if not, we, we do have a backup, so it's okay. And Colonel Mr. Shiv is panicked. <laughs> uh, panicking soldiers. That's funny. Oh, by the way, everyone has really a lot of ammo because of that uh, foundry upgrade we got. Uh, so we probably won't have to really care about reloads. He's still panicked. Are you serious? Mr. Shiv, man. Okay, well, we're moving our... Uh, we're moving our snipers up because up here is a lot better... Uh, it's a lot. It's it's higher elevation, which means there won't be anything blocking us. So, I like the idea of that better. All right. Well, it looks like uh, look like it looks like Mr. Shiv got his head in the game finally. So, yeah. Now yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. Is that everybody? Yep. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get some reloads off. Even though we really don't need them, because it's just like, well, like, I'm, I'm saving a little bit of ammo. But this is great for suppression, because suppression uses, like, two ammo. Now we have, like, tons of ammo, which means we can use suppression, like, I think about three times before we need to reload it. Which 
which I love. All right. Mr. Shave, take the lead, even though you were the one who just pe panicked out. Here we go. It's Muton Day today. Alright. Uh, I don't even know how... I can't shoot anybody. Well, you can try and get this guy. I love Mr. Shiv. He's a, he's a hero in my books. Alright. Now, we have a couple of options here. We can possibly, like, just try and rocket them. Uh, is my, well, tactical is, uh, kind of out, out here. Now, this will blow up the cover around them, which is actually what I want to happen. So my snipers will be able to take a shot, because I'm pretty sure we're getting a line of sight block. Complete, like, completely. That's the reason I would do this. Oh, wait, one died. Well, now, now that we've pretty much blown up all their cover. My snipers still can't, well, no, he... Uh, I guess he can't use his little squad side thing. Whatever. Or we can just finish them off. Nope. Apparently not. We'll just move up. 85 and 100%. Let's just get the 100% out of the way. Don't even risk it. And we can pretty much get a flank shot off on this guy. Although I, I worry about possibly engage... Uh, Enraging somebody else, but that's a risk we'll have to take. Okay, wait, he's flanking me, but I can't flank him. Oh, I think he was on the other side of that hill thing, but that's okay. We killed him. Well, let's uh, move everyone into better positions. I stand by the fact I blew up their cover, because I, you know, I, I, I thought I could take a shot by with my snipers. I have, two, I have like three rockets at my disposal, uh, don't forget. I have a lot of rockets. So, I don't think it's a big, big issue. Uh, okay, well, Mr. Shiv, take, uh, take point again. So there's almost, uh, seven minutes here of, uh, me running around, so I'm doing some more post-commentary here. Uh, yeah, so just moving up. I think I just want to actually talk a bit about how I obtained this game and how I got into it. I basically did a Bioshock Infinite pre-order, um, and they gave me this game for free. This game had just come out, like, last year. I kind of had it, and so I just felt like streaming it one day, so I, you know, that's that's usually how I get into weird games kind of thing. And, like, I just decided to stream it one day, I'm just like, well, I have it, I might as well try it out. And it ended up being, like, it's honestly one of the best games I've played in, in a long time. It's really, really quite good. As you can see, I'm, I'm really into this game. Uh, I enjoy it, even though I'm maybe not the best at it. I, I still have a lot of fun with it, and trying to be all tactical and all that. But anyways. But yeah, but that was actually cool. I got Bioshock Infinite, and then I got, um, and then I got XCOM Enemy Unknown for like you know, for sixty dollars. So two two great games for the price of one. Uh, well, no, it wasn't sixty. Sorry, it was fifty. I think it was fifty. I don't know what it was, but yeah. So we're right now just trying to breach the UFO, and we're getting scared. We're actually following some sectoid noises. I don't know if you heard the sectoids before, but that's actually what we're hearing right now because you can actually tell what they are. So we're kind of just looking around for them. Uh, my snipers are very useless out, out in the back there, so I was, I'm trying to have them kind of cover up the rear, but as you can see, I'm kind of moving them back up to help support. So, oh well. You know, snipers have to be useful. It's a good thing that Dan finally has that armor, though. Uh, yeah, not saying not saying anything else about that, but I think, I think we're about ready to breach here, so let's go back to my live commentary. So, see you when I see you. We will be watching, etc. This is what we train for, guys. All those, all those missions, all those people we lost. Holy shit! They were right beside the door the whole time. What the fuck?! <laughs> oh boy. Fun. Alright, let's see who we got. Oh, this guy's truly dead. Okay, so that's one down. So the other one we can just stun. Pretty much. Let's bring one guy back here. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, not triple strike, but... Oh, wait, I have nobody with a pistol that we can use. What, what is your chance to hit anyways? 70%. 
It, he gets a higher chance if it's lower, but we'll try it without. Oh, it worked anyways. Okay. That's our first sectoid of the day. And he was apparently inside that the whole time. Oh, f what? How did I trigger that? That's f fucked up. Well, at least everybody's in cover. You know what? I'm gonna say that felt like bullshit, but you know, it could have gone much worse. I mean, the minute they go through that door, we're just gonna kick their ass. There we go. That was fucking bullshit. Here we go. They're probably gonna get some shots off though. What the hell kind of... Where, where are you even trying to shoot me from? Just letting himself get flanked. Well, that's a interesting place he chose to be in. And he actually shot one of my snipers. Okay, so yeah, that's what I mean. Like they can they can usually survive. They can survive a survive hit. I wasn't aware that they were that close though. Well, 100% chance to hit, 100% chance to crit. It's not even a question if he's gonna kill him. Damn. Well, he's not too happy today. Well, Dan, you get your revenge kill that you've been waiting for. First time I've ever. Yeah, it's a good thing I put that armor on him because that was kind of like that. That could have gone way worse, but yeah. All right, well done. Get some heals. All right, let's see what we got. Gonna move out here. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I, I, st I do want some plasma pistols, but I think we're going to get them now that uh, we've actually taken over that guy. All right. Now, uh, the question does become, where do I move my snipers? Because there's not very many good places I can move them to. Uh, let me just give one more heal. And, uh... I'll, I don't know. I'll try and find a place for him. I said, there's, there's going to be a place for him. Okay, so I'm thinking, uh, this guy, so, um, I think there's gonna be the shard guys in there, the, uh, I don't know what the hell they're, outsiders, that's right, because we are, tr we are still trying to capture an outsider alien, that is our main objective, so, so that, that is what we want to be doing. Uh, I guess we're just gonna stand on the, the sectoid's corpse over here, and, uh, we're gonna just, uh, this is gonna be basically our covering positions. This is how we're gonna do it. The problem becomes though that I, I don't really have any pistols. Where are they? He's he's gonna be somewhere in here. And here they are. And he's right beside me now. How much uh, does my, uh, I wonder if I could take a pot shot at him. Oh, I got a lot of uh, stunning opportunity here. How much will your pistol do? What's the maximum damage it'll do? I don't really know. Let's see. Up to five damage, he has five HP. That's a, that's a risky shot to be taking. Uh, what is my stun chance? Very low. Okay. I have two options here. Uh, either I get two stuns. I can, I can risk it. It's probably not going to do five damage. No, it's going to do five damage. Fuck. We need to capture one of these strange aliens. Should have pistoled him with one of my other guys. I think I need to give my one of my snipers a shit pistol or something. Cause fuck. 
It's what I have the problem of, of with Xcom, which I'm I'm too fucking good. <laughs> we'll try it next time. I'm 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 literally I'm trying to advance the story here. Your men certainly seem to have a knack for capturing alien subjects alive. Yeah, you think? I only hope they realize how important their work is in relation to ours. Please pass on my gratitude to our forces. All right, let's go fucking find out what this sectoid wants. All right, we got beam weapons re research credit, which we don't use anyways, so. Uh, we can finish the EMP cannon, though. I'm pretty good with that. I have a fair bit of uh, resources, but we're good. Let's continue. I think, I think next mission I'm going to bring my assault with me, just because. Uh, EMP research is done. Now we really need to get that um, the heavy thing. So it doesn't actually... Um, EMPs are actually the best for taking down... Um, uh, taking down your foes because it's the least likely to actually damage them. We can also do shiv repairs, but we're not doing shivs for this one. Uh, heavy lasers, we're not doing, but heavy plasma we will do. And right after, right straight after, we'll do plasma pistol. But this is more important right now, to me, at least. Approved arc thrower is complete. That would have been really handy last mission. And we also now have better med kits. And Dan's back. Oh, cool. And this, this uh, heavy plasma researched. And the Shiv Plasma project is also available, which is uh, what I, which is what I did with my uh, shivs a couple of times. Uh, that's it makes them very accurate, apparently. So it's nice. Okay, let's get our plasma pistol so we can finish up with that. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. And we're good. Remember, we will be watching. Since we have all the satellites, there's no point in us doing anything here. But you can see, like, capacity. all the, all the, uplink required. all the, what's it called? All the, um, uh, panic in the countries is kind of going down. Germany, I don't know. Germany is panicking probably because of, like, some violent video game or something. XCOM got released. Oh, God. All right, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Let's go over here. Excavate this guy. Uh, let's build some workshops. I'm almost inclined to say, actually, we're gonna take away 12 power, 19, take away 12, yeah, let's move these. Uh, no, uh, yes, a workshop, thank you. And another workshop. What we're doing is we're just gonna build a steam vent, build a build a steam vent, and that's it. Honestly, I it doesn't matter. Like I don't have anything else here. I really need to build. Um, we're done with satellite. Like all it is is just like mission shit that I'm gonna be building from now on. All right, and now at this point we can actually go and say um, to the uh, we can go build these heavy plasma things. Even though technically we're still building workshops, it doesn't matter to me. And I think we're good with that. So let's actually continue spinning. Oh, actually, no. You know what? Uh, one other thing. These two guys. And that's it. We're done. We actually still need the officer training school because I think the bonuses go away whenever you destroy it. So we can't just get rid of it at this point, even though we have everything. However, we have... Uh, as you can see, Mkudo is now support. Uh, Viper 321 is a heavy. Orish is a heavy. And Uncaged Threat is now support. And I'm going to actually hire a couple more soldiers. You might as well. And we won't actually know if when they've arrived until a little bit later. So uh, we won't really be too concerned with that. Um, and we're going to do this because we're going to actually start leveling up a B team. Because uh, we're... Uh, a, a team that actually does like psyops and shit like that because we're gonna need that really soon uh, That's a later component of this game So uh, keep the world spinning uh, We can apparently make two nanofiber vests and uh, get 57 bucks out of that 
All you do in cases like this, you just go, okay, Nano Fiber Vest, they cost 10 bucks each. Build two of them, cost 20 bucks. And they'll give us $57 for that, so that's a $37 profit. Done. I, I, I don't know if it, like, lowers panic levels or anything. I don't think it does, so. Possible still research is completed. So now we can do, we have an increased, uh, we have another foundry project for that as well. These are really nice. This is what you want to have all your soldiers with when you're not trying to kill out, uh, outsiders. But although I have really good, um, what is it even called? Oh, uh, what, wait, plasma can cannon. What the hell is a plasma cannon? Oh, this is, this is a ship-based cannon. Well, you now I'm looking at this shit and there's like, there's absolutely nothing I want here. I could, I, any of this would just be a complete waste of research, to be honest. Because I'm not using any of this. I'm not using Archangel Angel armor. Uh, I don't have I enough resources for this stuff. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. And two plasma pistols. Well, you know, technically I could just make them for my entire team at this point. Uh, I, I have two heavies usually, so... Well... I'll have five. Now I need, never need to make them again. There you go. Alright, and let's see who the who the new people are uh, for soldiers. And uh, damn, hot damn. Okay, so we have um, uh, Zazoa, Adam265, uh, Jack Maple, Negro, Heckman, Crazy Jabberwock, Mr. Colin, uh, Vasily EV, Sheath, and Loveless. Uh, so, if uh, um, if you're wondering if I'm going to use you or not, that depends if you're Psy or not. Uh, if you're Psy, then I'm probably going to use you. Um, and I'm going to bubble you up. So, but that's for later. Uh, I need to get the Psy shit. Which is, which is, you progress in the story to get that, and I haven't been doing that. have uh, firestorms so uh, what we do with firestorms okay We've first done of all some big things here but I have to admit my team and I are most proud of the work we put into the firestorm uh, I'm gonna just make two for now okay so for the firestorms what we do is we say this ship list uh, we have two firestorms here EMP cannon number one and EMP can number two. And it's gonna take just one day to arm them. So once they do that, okay, they're done. We move one of these. Uh, we transfer this one From to here, North America. We can arrange to have our interceptors transferred to bases throughout the world. By stationing our fleet on various continents, we'll have a much better chance of intercepting new UFO contacts in those areas. So we're gonna start dismissing ships. And that's basically it. Because uh, we don't need those ships anymore. Because uh, firestorms are much better. Which means now we have the opportunity to make uh, three more. And then this, will, this means I'll get one on each continent. There we go. Additional Okay, let's see how... arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. So we can get uh, improved pistols, which is uh, increase the accuracy of pistols. I would not be against that. Uh, there's also a heavy weapons platform. We can also get st stealth satellites as well. Uh, but I'll, I'll get some. Uh, I'll get that pistol thing. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll yeah, we're good. Additional workshop online. Uh, maybe I should wait for that other one. Whatever. We've got a large contact, and it's coming in fast. We're going to have a difficult time keeping up with this one. And our, our, it's a good thing we transferred our Firestorm here. Now we get to see it in action. 
Hell yeah, motherfucker. Earth is prepared. Choo choo, here we go. We have eyes on the bandit. So this is like a supply Near ship or something. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> Two shots. <laughs> he got wrecked. <laughs> oh man. If that's not gonna make them fear me, I don't know what will. Well, Sky Ranger's gonna go in. That's uh that's uh, for next time, so uh till then, we will be watching. <laughs>